Hey guys, Gabriel here from Ungraceful Toad, and today I have another band presto figure for you. This one is in the same range, well, it was set in the same scale, I believe it's part of the same overall range by band presto to um, our Joseph that I reviewed in an earlier video. This figure actually came as I was filming the Joseph review. So uh, it's a super Master Stars piece, as mentioned from Bram Presto, and it's a 1-6 scale of Jotaro Kujo, who is one of my top three characters of all time. So this box is quite different to Joseph's, although around the same size, it's far more focused on actual pictures of Jotaro himself, with his cool Photoshop sort of lighting effect. So let's take a look around the box. Nothing hugely special here, just large windows of the figure. And Bram Presto promotions here. And we have our official sticker there. And that's kind of it. There's nothing too amazing going on. We just have our summary. I don't think we have anything on the bottom. Nothing on the bottom, but quite a sleek piece for boxes. Uh, something I think this is quite a generic box. Uh, it reminds me of the Statue Legends boxes, but with larger windows. And just inside, you can see the backdrop, which is very Jojo's of these diamond shapes. So I'll open them up, and we'll take a look at them in the light tent. So here he is. This figure was released this year in July by Bram Presto, as I mentioned, a 1-6 scale. And this is one of three colour variations. Again, like the Joseph, this is the non-accurate sort of accurate version. There's then the accurate version where his main colours are black with a sort of grey-green shirt. And there's also a black and grey version, which I haven't seen on any of the other Bram Presto figures. Uh, your main other sort of colour gripe is the belt colour. And that's kind of it, it's just your main colour shifting from black to blue. So uh, let's take a closer look at this guy. Um, the first thing, like Joseph, I want to talk about is the base. Now, the base on this guy is actually much better than Joseph. It's just far more sturdy and flat to the ground. And when you look at it, which is a nice little touch, it's actually a J. It's kind of hard to see with his feet in there, but it's actually a J. So let's take a look at the paintwork. Uh, it's kind of... The same level as Joseph, which is very good. We've got great shading with patches of dark and light and lots of the way the clothing is moulded to his body as if it's actually on a person. But sort of with Jojo's very iconic sort of swirls out and everything's kind of just a bit overdone in the very Jojo's way with his coat also swirling out, but we'll take a look at that in a minute. You know, the muscle tone grabbing at him with this motion at the bottom. It's all very, very accurate to the manga and this... It's, there's a lot of thought that's clearly gone into putting this together to be as close would fit on someone of this stature. So another thing I like to mention is this chain is loose. It's not attached anywhere, and it's sort of it's got multiple link kind of thing going on. Slightly, I find this slightly concerning, but there, and again, it's not attached to me. I mean, there's nowhere to really put it. So I understand that, but I'm slightly concerned about that snapping based on how thin this link is up here. But moving on from that, again, we've got details on my hands, like the other judges' figures we've looked at. There's no sort of missed opportunity to put in plenty of detail. Again, here in the sleeve, the back of his head, we have the iconic sort of hat, then fading into hair, as seen there. And the back is just more of the same great detail and shading, sort of capturing the muscle tone that would be here, down his back. Whereas the top of his waist sticks out, all this sort of coming together to give you a nice shading and look. It's a shame you won't be able to see the back when he's displayed, isn't it? But then, um, yeah, let's just take a close look at his face. Just very sharp features, clean, painted eyes, the eyelashes are in. He's got his little stud earring. Everything is just perfect into the anime with his, his chisel collarbone, the thickness of his neck, the tendons in it. Everything's just absolutely on point. I think he may be taller than Joseph, so I look forward to doing the size comparison in a minute. But all in all, I'm very impressed with the piece. I didn't expect anything less from Van Presto. So let's take a look at some measurements, shall we? 11.8 inches tall. Almost a foot tall. Just shy. So his width of his main body is just shy of 3 inches, about 2.8, 2.9. And then if you include the sticking out of the hand at the angle, we're going to about, about 4 inches. Depth about six inches from the front of his hand to his the back of his elbow here and the back of his shoulder. So he is on a debt of shop again. He could pretty much fill it by himself. He could almost be a solo display piece. Here he is next to Joseph, and yeah, he, he seems to be a good inch, just under an inch taller than Joseph. I'd like to, I'm gonna look that up on the wiki and see if that 
scale makes sense. So that's the 1 6 scale Joseph from Banpresto. And here he is next to a 1 8 scale of himself. This is the Statue Legends version of himself. And as you can see, our colorations are almost identical. There's a slight difference on the belt. And that's about it, but our colors are almost the same, except obviously there's a bigger figure. We have more detail and shine in the shoes. But very similar sort of detail on the shirt, the buttons. It's almost just like this is a far better quality version of this because of the size. So all in all, a great piece. I don't think it takes the title of Joseph for my favourite piece in the collection just because I think Joseph, his odd variation in his colour and his face, I feel like he's a... It might be just because Joseph is a more expressive character, but I think it makes a better figure. But this is without a doubt the definitive Jotaro figure. If I was to recommend someone to pick up a Jotaro figure, this would be the one I'd go to. Again, kind of difficult to find online. I have seen them come up on most of the main figure stores and also occasionally on Amazon and eBay, depending on how trustworthy those are in most cases. But another figure I'd highly recommend to any JoJo's fans. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next one. Have a good one.